Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling an important question that many developers have when considering the performance of ASP.NET Core. Our viewer wonders about the performance differences between ASP.NET Core running on the .NET Core framework and the full .NET framework. They note that ASP.NET Core boasts significant performance improvements over traditional ASP.NET, but they're unsure if these benchmarks apply equally to both frameworks. Let's dive into this intriguing topic and clarify the performance landscape for ASP.NET Core. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. on. Let's begin by understanding the performance differences between ASP.NET Core running on .NET Core and ASP.NET Core running on the full .NET framework. ASP.NET Core on .NET Core is designed for high performance and scalability. It utilizes a lightweight runtime and optimized libraries, which significantly improves requests per second. In contrast, ASP.NET Core on the full .NET framework inherits some legacy overhead, which can impact performance. This means that while it still benefits from the ASP.NET Core framework, it may not achieve the same performance levels as its .NET Core counterpart. For benchmarks, many sites focus on ASP.NET Core with .NET Core, highlighting its superior performance. However, it's essential to look for specific comparisons that include both frameworks to get a clearer picture. In summary, if performance is a critical factor for your application, opting for ASP.NET Core on .NET Core is generally the better choice. For detailed articles, consider checking Microsoft's official documentation and performance benchmarks. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. ASP.NET Core 2.0 is nearly twice as fast as ASP.NET 4.6 and 4.7. When comparing performance, ASP.NET Core outperforms the full .NET framework, although the .NET framework has some pre-built features that can be advantageous. In terms of speed, ASP.NET Core even surpasses Node.js, making it a strong choice for performance-focused applications. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In our performance tests of ASP.NET Core 2.0, we found that applications hosted under IIS with the ASP.NET Core module performed about 60% worse than those using the full .NET framework. However, when self-hosted with IIS as a reverse proxy, performance improved by 20%. Logging also significantly impacts performance. It's crucial to avoid writing debug or info logs to the console during tests. Make sure your log configuration is set to not log these levels. We encountered performance issues with ASP.NET Core when consuming WCF services. In version 2.0.5, performance was about 70% worse than the full framework, with a high error rate of 23%. The main issue was port exhaustion. 
Microsoft recommends increasing the number of ephemeral ports, which did improve the error rate, but didn't fully resolve the problem. Our testing setup involved ASP.NET Core 2.0 and full .NET Framework apps with a Web API controller. We gradually increased the load during the test. We are looking forward to the ASP.NET Core 2.1 release, as Microsoft is aware of these issues and is expected to address them. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Bye.